Hey, good morning, guys. Uh, today we're going to take a look at a couple of live trades that I took. Uh, this is uh, paper money. It's simulated trading still. Uh, but I'm using a new platform today. It's uh, I think it's called Dash Trader. Just trying out um, some different platforms with different brokers. And um, I think if uh, you know I start trading real money, this is probably the platform that I'll be using. Uh, the first trade on the day, I actually was by mistake, was just trying to figure the buttons out and ended up accidentally going short and had to get out at a loss. Uh, but that was, again, just purely by mistake. So uh, fortunately, I was able to make that up and then some on another trade uh, in the morning. Um, so we're going to actually pick up after I'm already in the green a couple hundred dollars, I think. Uh, we're going to look at two different trades on the same stock. On one of them, I went long and uh, on the other one I went short. So let's go ahead and jump in and take a look at that. Okay, we're looking at RCO in here. We're looking to go long on the second pullback. And we're long, 1,500 shares at 455. Yeah, you can see that uh, there was an, an initial bull flag up at about 9.30 right out of the gate. And uh, so the first pullback was around 9.45 a.m. And then it drove up all the way to $5, about $5.02 actually. And then it pulled back to $4.30. So uh, generally my strategy has been to buy on the pullback. It seems um, less risky than buying straight out of the gate because you really never know what the stock's going to do. So uh, you're trying to anticipate it when you do that. You can see that those who did do that this morning did really well, especially if they held through the first pullback or sold some of their shares through that first pullback and then uh, rode all the way up to $5. So really good day for them. Right now we are red, uh, break even, kind of teetering right here um, on this current trade. Again, our average cost is at $4.55 for 1,500 shares. I am green on the day, $295. But it looks like the volume has actually died down, um, unfortunately, because we are consolidating sideways at the moment. This trade uh, may take a little bit longer than I anticipated. I had hoped after this first or the second pullback that we would drive back up to $5 and uh, maybe even break through it. But even if we only got to $5, I'd be looking at a $0.45 cents profit on uh, per share. And uh, my stop is going to be at 430 so that's uh, better than 2 to 1 uh, profit to loss ratio. So I'm watching level 2, and you can see that there's some pretty solid support down there around 451 450. Uh, there's a lot of uh, a lot of shares sitting on the bid down there. There's 1,200 shares at 451, 9,400 shares. So that uh, that confirms with what I'm seeing on the chart right now, uh, which is you know it's it's okay for us because our stop is at 430. So that's telling me that uh, that there's enough support uh, above our stop that we should be able to stay in this trade and hopefully some more volume comes in and drives the price back up for us here. I'm also watching time and sales on the right side of level two. You see a lot of red and white coming through. Um, I don't particularly like to see that. A lot of red um, indicates that uh, sellers have come down to the buyer's price and that's gonna drive the price of the stock down. So let's just uh, maybe just check this out here probably around 475. Let's go ahead and put a line in here, a price line at 475. Based on the current volume level, I think uh, it's probably gonna be more realistic to take profit around 475. Uh, the volume's just not there at the moment to push up to $5 like I had hoped on this second pullback. So I will be happy taking profit at 475. Now normally I probably should adjust my stop um, because it wouldn't be two to one profit to loss ratio anymore. Um, actually, technically, I should be stopping out right now. However, again, I am green on the day, $295. So that is a benefit of getting green early on in the day. It uh, gives you a little bit of leeway, so you can take a little bit more risk on the following trades. So at least, uh, worst case, we can uh, close this out, cut our loss, and break even on the day. But um, 
uh, man, ideally, I don't want to lose some of that money that I've already made. $295 is, I mean, that's $295. I'd be happy to take that. Now, I see 12,500 shares sitting on the bid at 439. So that's nine cents above our stop. That's some pretty solid support right there. A lot of green coming through right now. So currently the price is at 443, 448, kind of teetering back and forth here as we consolidate sideways. You got that huge bid sitting there still, 12,500 shares. Okay, I think some of that got eaten up here. Some of that green coming through on time and sales. Yeah, there's been some pretty solid support right around the 440 range so we're getting we've gotten close to the stop but um very fortunately we're still in this trade yeah i mean what really got me is the volume the uh, unfortunately i i missed that move up to uh five dollars and uh, unfortunately this second pullback has just not panned out the way i'd hoped but let's stick with the plan um, we will stop out at 430 if it comes to that but I don't want to get out too early it's a little longer than I prefer to stay in a trade usually it either happens right away or it doesn't but I don't want to walk away from it just yet I think if we can get up to 475 we can get some decent profit out of this we won't be greedy and insist on five dollars because I think that's a bit much to ask for at the moment based on the volume level. You can see uh, the five minute chart is the main one I'm looking at up on the top. Uh, below that on the right is the one minute chart and to the left of that is the daily chart. So you can see today that long green candle on the daily chart. Uh, the price is very very extended from uh, previous days over the past month or so. All right, so looking at time and sales, a lot of white coming through, which indicates that uh, 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 transactions are going through uh, in the spread between the bid and the ask. Right now, the bid is at 442. The ask is 460. So, uh, I'm sorry, 447. For for um, yeah, 447 is the ask, and the bid is 445. So. It seems to be hovering right around a two or three cents spread, which isn't terrible. Um, actually, I've seen a lot worse. All right, so yeah, just no volume at the moment. Still red on this trade. Currently at 462. We're in the green now on this trade. Unrealized profit at $75. And uh, just watching uh, level two, time and sales. I've got my price, my sale price set at 475, so I'm ready to pull the trigger. And let's see if we can just get that price to come up there. We're we're so close. We're pulling in a profit right now. There's 470. There's 475 coming through on there. We got a partial order. We sold 750 shares at 475, but unfortunately the price uh, dropped before we could get rid of the other. So let's go ahead and cancel that order. We're getting close. Okay, okay, there's 468, 468, 473, 473, 472. Okay, order's in at 473. Come on, fill. We got a partial fill. We got another partial fill. Come on, 341 shares left. 473, let's go. There we go, yes, all right. Well, that was a couple of partial fills at 473. Woo, okay, so we were able to sell half of our 1,500 shares at... Uh, uh, 475 and the other the other half at 473 so uh, we'll take it that's good put us in the green five hundred sixty nine dollars and seventy seven cents all right so we're still looking at the same stock it did actually push up above five dollars as you can see here but it's really extended so we're gonna try and go short and see if we can capture uh, some profits on the way down and uh, double play the stock there we go we're in orders in 1500 shares and we've got a partial fill there we go all right we're filled 1500 shares short average cost five dollars and twenty cents so you can see it hit a high of 536 and uh, that actually occurred 
Uh, about five minutes, I guess, maybe. Um, yeah, about five minutes after I sold off those shares when I was long. So, unfortunately for me, I did miss out on a, on a better profit. But the volume came in, pushed the price up, and uh, that's the way it goes. So, we're, uh, we're short here. And I'm anticipating the price is going to drop down to about 475 and we'll probably take profits there. We're actually doing really good right now. We're, uh, we're up about $460 on this current trade. But yeah, you can see uh, the price touched 436 came back down. Uh, clearly, it's extended at the moment. There's a lot of orders coming in here uh, on the uh, sale. On the ask, uh, this is looking good for us, actually. 484 current price. So right now, un with Unrealized, we're over $1,000 on the day, which is my goal. If we can sell this off and get a $1,000 profit on the day, then uh, we'll shut it down. That's going to be mission accomplished. So we could actually go ahead and sell here if we wanted to, and we would uh, we would accomplish that goal. But let's just give it a chance to play. All right, there's 473. Let's see, is it going to come down more? Okay, orders in. 472, 1,500 shares. Am I going to get filled? Price bump back up to 478, not getting filled here. Come on. Just let it sit there for a second. Now, we'll cancel the order. Come on. Price jump back up to 484. It's right there. I know it wants to come down to 475 I've got the price set at 478 here come on we're getting close a lot of red coming in there we go okay orders in and we're filled fantastic okay that's a successful day of trading right there uh, not bad at all so we were able to get profits on the long side and the short side on this same stock uh, back to back so I think that's pretty good I might try this strategy out more often um, I like that this this platform is letting me go short unlike TD Ameritrade so yeah all in all a uh, pretty successful day you can see that uh, that first trade that I took by mistake on IZEA uh, lost a hundred dollars on that and again that was by mistake I mentioned in the intro just simply getting used to this platform this is the first day that I've traded with it trying to figure the buttons out and everything but all things considered I was able to minimize my losses on that thankfully um, we can see RCON pulled in a total profit of six hundred and sixty nine dollars and seventy seven cents going long and then that last trade going short uh, six hundred and thirty dollars profit so with commissions $91.58 taken out, we're $1,199.77 net profit on the day. Sorry, $1,106.71 uh, net profit on the day. Uh, so extremely happy with that, actually. Uh, and I feel like this, um, this uh, demo version of this uh, trading platform was more realistic uh, as far as when it comes to executing the trades because uh, we didn't always get complete fills. Uh, in fact, a couple of times we only got partial fills. And if you watch live trading videos, that's uh, uh, pretty common. So I feel like, you know, TD Ameritrade's Thinkorswim was like uh, always giving me full fills and that's clearly not realistic. So very happy with the results today. Um, hope you guys enjoyed this video of some live trading. If you did, let me know in the comments below and uh, maybe I'll include some others and uh, hopefully also when we start trading real money. As always guys, thanks for watching and hanging around and uh, hope you're all doing really well. Until the next time, take care. We'll see you then.